Hello world ones. I'm back. Trying something a bit different today. So I'm gonna be camping at a creepy church with a history of satanic ritual, witchcraft. So yeah, this is Wild Bear coming to you from Clop Hill. rainbow over the church but there's no rain at all strange unfortunately I can't camp at the actual church um, because I've said satanic rituals uh, over the years people have dug up bones and all sorts from graves there's been a murder down on a6 known as the a6 murder that's the road just over there I believe so yeah lots has happened here and understandably the church has been closed for overnight visitors and there are cameras and alarms everywhere so I've been up to have a look at the church and I'm staying somewhere nearby where I feel like I won't be disturbed yeah I like this little bit of woods I don't think I'll be disturbed here I'm gonna do a bivy today so really stay off I've not got another shelter if it rains just the bivy so I think it's gonna be a nice night actually just gotta wait around till it gets dark See if there's any spooky noises tonight. What is that noise? further away from the path now I'm closer to a road but it's pretty well hidden with all the undergrowth still so I think that'll be okay it's just starting to get dark now so I'm gonna get my little bed made up and then I think we'll make some dinner soon Alright guys, so my bed's up, I've got the usual suspects today. So that's my Thermarest Exer mat, my Trichology Aloft pillow, I've got my Rab 900, really toasty in there, and my Outkit Hunker Bivy over the outside. Um, so if it does rain, I'll stay nice and dry, it's just that little bit where your mouth and nose come out. But I don't think it's going to rain anyway. Um, so I'm going to keep this cinched up keep the bugs out of it and then I think we're gonna make some dinner now hi I love owls Curry, homemade. I love Thai red curry. I don't know what that noise is.
Okay, so some bits and bobs about St. Mary's Church. That's the church we had a look at earlier. So it's 400 years old, abandoned in 1848. So the church first hit the headlines in March 1963 when satanic graffiti was scrawled on the church walls and several graves disturbed. One body was removed with her bones arranged on a makeshift altar, her skull impaled on a metal spike and a cockerel was also found sacrificed apparently. Now I don't know how true this stuff is. Kind of folklore around here everyone sort of knows about it and the grave disturbances were definitely true they're all in the papers i don't know how, how true the cockerel bit is and the news coverage of that led to further attacks on the same grave which were again attacked and desecrated on midsummer's eve of 1969 and the significance of midsummer's eve obviously is tied in with witchcraft so graves were again opened in 1975 human bones scattered across the church floor and there was another one in 1979 so there's been a lot of weird stuff going on up at that church yes and then in 1961 james hanratty who became known as the a6 murderer abducted a man and woman from their home and ordered them to drive to dead man's hill so we're also near a place called dead man's hill where a murder took place. I believe this was at gunpoint. Yeah, so a man was shot dead and a woman shot five times, leaving her paralysed. And this happened on the A6 in a layby just over there somewhere. And Henratty was hanged for murder at Bedford Jail and was one of the last eight people in the UK to be executed before capital punishment was abolished. So, yeah, quite interesting. Lots of really weird stuff's happened here. Um, apart from some odd noises, I can't report of anything so far. While we're on the subject of weird stuff, there is a controversial video of what is claimed to be a ghost in St Mary's Church, taken in 2016, and it shows a like black hooded figure walking past the door of the church. So if you Google Clophill Church monk ghost, I'm sure that will come up. Um, and it's a really creepy video actually, but you know, that could quite easily have been staged, so. But for you guys that like the ghost stuff, have a look at that. So that's quite fun. Wow. Look at this beautiful one. It's huge. Look. See how big that is. Compared to my hand. Gorgeous. Hi, mushroom. How have I lost my bed? Okay, that's not even funny. Uh, right, okay. I'm trying not to get disoriented. Where did I come from? Um, oh my god, it's over there. Thank god. Okay. Maybe I stay near my bed now. Okay. Hello. I think these guys love bioethanol. Hey dude, wanna make a coffee? so excited to get all snuggly in my little bed just be peaceful and quiet and still so I've got with me today my little ground top I usually put this under my bed um, but today I think I'm gonna use it to cover my 
gear uh, while I'm sleeping just to make it a bit more stealthy for the morning and in case it rains it'll just stop my stuff getting wet. I'm gonna tuck it under like that and then if it does rain in the night I can sort of put my head under that actually so that'll work fine. Getting into a bivy bag is always such a graceful thing. It's so flumpy. That's cozy. I love it. There's the moon. So pretty. Good night, well ones. See you in the morning. See the red eyes over there? I'm just going to assume they were deer eyes. Freaky. Really freaky. I don't like the red eyes. I keep telling myself it's just because I had this my red light on my head torch that's why the eyes look red and if I had the white light on they would have just been white because they're just deer eyes but it's all that talk of devil worship and stuff and then seeing red eyes in the woods it's not the one <laughs> proper giving myself the heebie-jeebies now and um, I will welcome the sunrise. Morning! So cozy. That's where the eyes were last night. I got six hours sleep last night, which is really, really good for me on a wild camp. I usually get anything between two and four hours, so six is great. Especially when I was thinking I was being stalked by a demon. <laughs> nice morning. All right, coffee. This is a bit strange. So, look at this tree here. That's been cut with an axe or something. There's no stump down here, so this tree's been cut with an axe and placed here, like jammed in with this one. And what would be the point of that? That's just strange, isn't it? Why would you axe a tree down? and then pin it to another tree and I was sleeping just here so if that had fallen down that would just like skewer me in my sleep that's really bizarre okay guys that's it from me for this one I've got to get home now because I'm off on another camp tonight so tonight I'm going to be trying hammock camp with hopefully a campfire in one of those little mobile fire pit things um never used one before and i'm gonna try and cook a steak on that so that's tonight really looking forward to that this weekend if all goes well when this video goes out actually i will be away 
in the mountains again and the first night of that I'm going to try sleeping in my car so really looking forward to that as well and then hopefully a couple of mountain nights the weather as usual for my trips looks absolutely horrendous so <laughs> it's anyone's guess how that's gonna go but yeah lots to look forward to this week just getting caught up on the videos so yeah this has been fun and thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you next time bye